only one of these men is the real Stephen Babatunde. The other three are liars. I'm Stephen Babatunde. I'm Stephen Babatunde. I am Stephen Babatunde. I am Stephen Babatunde. And this is my house. The real Stephen Babatunde has three bedrooms, lots of trainers, and drives a white 2017 Volkswagen Passat. He's got my tennis um, bat here. He's, uh, you know, like I said, I play tennis. Bat? Tennis is the only believable thing you know, I... about you. Really? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> English is not my first language, so... Today, uh, there's a few questions which I misunderstood and I said the wrong thing. Beans, last time we went camping uptown, Gracie said, next time we go, we'll need it again. So, mm. hey, it just stays there. Well, the big beans is something that I do take out to my community centre work. If you can see here, I have about four of them. So I tend to go there, you know, give out big beans. He sounds more Nigerian. So why is it an open pack? Are you just, like, opening the pack? That community. Yes. That community. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, sure, OK. OK, of course, of course. All this thing you're talking about is very shocking to me because I don't understand OK, where what's I am more shocking, shocked. this coming mm -hmm. from us going camping right. or you opening bags of Doritos and saying, this is for community, that's for community, and coming home with half of it. Give them the whole pack, dude. Whole pack. <laughs> <laughs> so let me assume Grace's position. Ah, there we go. Take your shoes off, man, or you're getting in my bed. He didn't take his shoes off? It's not his bed, then. No way. No way, no way. Well, my feeling at the end of the second film, and it's, it's just unbelievably marginal, is that I'm just sort of glimpsing, looking towards Stephen Four a little bit. Can I ask you a question, then? Does he look like the kind of man who would have four cans of Heinz beans knocking around in the back of his boot for no reason? Uh, I think they all... I can't look. answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They all got that vibe. <laughs> Stephen, when you got the church was down the road, that's part of his backstory. In the first thing with the coffee, he was like, there's a church, it's on this street, and he'd learned some of that okay. stuff. So that could be his, like, narrative, right, and he's sticking to it. So when he opens a boot and he's like, there's some beans, and he's like, church beans, that's what those are. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen once say that he, he holds the food for a food bank. One can of beans. You boy, what day is it? Yes. Yeah. It's Christmas Day. Here's a bag of Doritos. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> and I just think anyone who wears a turtleneck probably doesn't go camping. I think it's neither of what I'll be calling them from now on, the boot boys. I don't think it's church beans. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't think it's clearly never been camping Stephen. The real Stephen Babatunde has a mirror in his hallway, which he uses for reflections. Good morning, Stevens. You're about to take on the world, and you're about to change people's lives. This is something that I like to say to myself, and it makes me feel great about myself. That is not what this mirror stands for for me, and that is not what I do with this mirror. This is the last stop before I get out. And I look into this mirror, appreciating myself and speaking affirmative. You are going out today. Many people will step on your toes, be the bigger person, and make dreams happen. Come back with a smile. I give myself a wink, out. Hmm. That is weird. That is weird. <laughs> this, is this is my house. This is my house. This is my house. I'm welcoming me. <laughs> this is my house. This is my house. This is my house. This, is my house. this man's clearly afraid of fresh fish. Oh, this what is, what is that? There you go. I have fish about probably twice a week. The hard part is separating the right amount of fish from the frozen pack. I normally Not just pick this up, bang, on the floor, Piece of fish is I'm gonna sorry, come if you're off. banging out on the floor, you're doing damage to the floor. That's no, a solid piece of frozen. Not, not, not really. Who breaks up frozen fish by smashing it on the floor? I do. <laughs> Some of the outskirt one. You can take and see. Yeah, pull it see? off. See? That was a knife. That was pull it off. I rest my case. Really, I, I'm actually worse off than when I was before. <laughs> Incredibly, the brick of fish hasn't cleared things up for me. As far as breaking up the fish on the floor is concerned, I'm totally with Stephen Four, because I, Mark Suspensers do a very nice dusted place and you get four in a pack and you put them in the freezer and you take them out and they, you cannot separate them. Yeah. So you throw them on the kitchen floor. Yeah. Have you got neighbours? Probably not, right? <laughs> of course so they're just going to this slamming in and be like, Richard's slamming fish again. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that it just came out as well, like a, like a horrible VHS. It was horrible, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
a brick of fish in the freezer and a wink to yourself before you leave. Both classic serial killer traits, I'd say. 